What if I told you that COVID changed our world and that we will look back years from now and say, that's when it happened. That's when our world became what it is today, thinking down the road. I have always questioned everything. Um, the establishment, how it works, who gets paid what. The best advice I ever got was understand how somebody gets paid and you'll understand their motives. And over the last year, I believe we are seeing a generational shift. The people who ran the world, created what our world is today, the baby boomer group, no offense to anybody in that age group, are now f moving aside and fading out. And it's the younger generations, not me, because I'm that speed bump generation of Gen X, but more of the, the Gen Y and Gen Z generations. The generations who are questioning everything in anything. And I believe that we are seeing the acceleration of the baton being passed from one generation to another. And 2020 lit that, that, that wick. And now we're starting to see the rapid change in investing, in the creation of content, the passing of information, um, the questioning of how governments are run, how the world is run, how things are valued. Um, and I believe that we're on this fast track and it's gonna be hitting a hyper parabolic, super fast, whatever speed in the next 24 months. One of the things that I believe is a leader in this that is taking this from going 55 miles an hour to Mach 3 is the cryptocurrency world. Let's first understand my view on cryptocurrency. Number one, I don't see it as a currency. Currencies don't move 20, 30% in a day. Currencies don't um, whipshaw from $47,000 to $3,000 in a matter of a month. You don't see that kind of movement out of any currency. And so I think just the whole cryptocurrency is just, it's a name tag. It's a ideal idea that there is no centralized currency and that we will all function on one currency. Fine. I don't see this as what this really, really means. What I do believe is the underlying layers of what these uh, coins are, these tokens are, and what they will do for our world going forward. Um, it's the technology. I was recently speaking with somebody who's pretty up on the investment side of things, and I was talking about what the currency of the future will not be the US dollar, the yuan, the Italian lira, Russian ruble, or Canadian dollar, or Mexican peso but rather it will be knowledge, it will be information. And to be a part of a community where your knowledge and information is valued and the more you bring to the table and the more you push yourself to understand more and more and bring that to the community, you will then be rewarded via a token or some sort of badge which as the community grows and the value of that community grows, those tokens or badges will be coveted. And at some point, you may have received a token that was worth five cents or a badge that was worth a dollar. And as that community grows and adds value to the people who are a part of it, the value of those badges will go up and will be then become traded as we are seeing with a Bitcoin or a Ethereum or a Litecoin, I believe it is. Um, 
but it will be more and more refined around the technology of what these coins can do and what they can do for our world. Imagine eliminating the cost of the middleman to wire money from here in Florida to Singapore and cutting down the time frame from 24 hours down to milliseconds. That's the technology we're talking about when it comes to blockchain. What if we created our own knowledge-based community about health and instead of paying for uh, health insurance at the rates we're paying, instead we would join a community and we would go to the community for answers and we become a part of the community by purchasing a token of some sort that was affordable um, and then you took that when you had an illness within the family you brought that illness to the the community and the community helped you figure out the answers of how to treat that illness and then brought an expert you know identified the expert who is the expert within that illness and said, hey, because you're part of the community, you come here and we'll help you and we'll help fix you. More and more, I believe that is where we're going. And more and more, I look at the healthcare infrastructure of how we pay ridiculous amounts of money for healthcare insurance, or um, we pay for homeowners or insurance or whatever. Instead, we'll join communities that we can afford to participate in and with our knowledge be able to add something and if we can bring more knowledge to the community we get rewarded for that knowledge i was thinking on an investment standpoint you know people pay money for um research reports so like morningstar or you know goldman sachs or whoever's producing the research report and people pay for that well what if you're part of a community of 18 to 50,000 like-minded people who are interested in investing and they all bought a token or a coin which they were provided they that was their entry into the community and then because of the knowledge you have in say dividend paying stocks or certain types of technology like blockchain or um, pay for service, whatever. Uh, and you really were into it and you wrote reports on this and you identified companies that were leading that area, that you know um, sector, and you brought that information to the community. And if the, the information you brought to the community ended up helping all the people in the community profit from that, then you would be rewarded via a coin of such at some point that will grow to a point where the community is then people want to get into the community smart people people who wanted to just profit from the knowledge of the community and had maybe something they could add not some ludicrous political standpoint but something of value and they were willing to pay some other member uh, a, a money of some sort for a, a badge or a token or a coin to be a part of the community and more and more I believe this is where currency is going it's going towards what do you know what is your knowledge base what do you specialize in that's worth a lot and because you're willing to bring that to our community we're going to reward you and at some point that reward becomes valuable to the world and it becomes coveted just like US dollars or any other currency within the world and we start trading based on community and knowledge instead of currency what if you could start a community and the community had its own um, coin token badge and it became a freely traded asset in the marketplace. It held value because of the profitability of the knowledge within the community came to the surface and people wanted to own that 
be just like you want to own Amazon stock or Toyota stock or uh, or a cryptocurrency stock that we know of today. What if that became then that community's wealth creation and their profit center was creating knowledge and profit? What if that became our what we know as the stock market today? I really believe we're on the cusp of something incredible and it will happen like that. And I believe we started back in March of 2020. And it's going to be rough and we're going to have people who are freaked out about it, especially the old school group of people who run things. But eventually the communities will have the power and have the knowledge. And ultimately that's what you're looking for is knowledge. Somebody, something, some group, some community that is going to help me and my family get to where we want to go in this world, who will help, help safeguard us and who will uh, help protect us and make us quote unquote profitable. That's where I see this whole cryptocurrency thing going. The currency is no longer the US dollar. My belief it's knowledge. And the more and more we accept that, and the more and more we recognize that we're having groups like, excuse me, Wall Street bets who move a, a series of stocks and, and they challenge the establishment that is going to morph into something more uh, community, more communal, more welcoming, less volatile, less vile at times, but more in the favor of hum mankind and creating a place where you can take your knowledge, join a community and help thousands, hundreds of thousands, possibly millions or trillions of people. I believe that's that's where all of this is going and where cryptocurrency is today. It is not a currency in my opinion. It is a commodity. But what it represents and what it technology-wise offers, streamlines, makes things much more profitable in the future. And that's why I believe you should be paying attention to the whole cryptocurrency world and what's being said and how it's being managed and what regulation could come in the future and protecting that asset that eventually will be the, f the currency of the world and that's more a knowledge-based currency rather than a physical asset currency like the dollar. That's my opinion about cryptocurrency. I am more and more falling uh, for it and like it and believe it has a reason, a viable reason to be studied, understood, and utilized for our future along with our kids' future and our grandkids' future and so on and so forth. The sooner you understand it and dig into it, it's going to take a while. I'm like scraping the surface at this point. But I see where this could take us as on a global level. And I think it's in a good place. And I'm optimistic. So there's my take on cryptocurrency. There you go. Love to hear what you think about it. In the meantime, explore, find things to venture down the road to, and live loud.